Hi, my name is David Ramsey and I'm the Special Operations Captain here at Bonner County EMS. And I probably have the coolest division out of all of them at Bonner County uh, because I'm in charge of this Special Operations team, which consists of the UTV and ATV during the summer months. And in the winter, we get to drive around on snowmobiles to help out those that are in need. So come along with me on this journey while I introduce you to my most excellent division. The Bonner County EMS Wilderness Response Team's mission is to provide access to the patient when conventional means are unable to get to the scene. As mentioned, we have snowmobiles and ATVs to enable us to make access regardless of terrain difficulties. We deploy a Skidoo Scandic and a Polaris RMK in the winter and a Yamaha Rhino and Kodiak in the summer. We are able to carry our patients from the scene to a waiting ambulance via an Orion rescue sled that has skis in the winter and wheels in the summer. This facilitates a more expedient means of evacuation that is also less labor intensive than carrying them miles over rough terrain and less than ideal conditions. The team uses a couple different models of deployment. Probably our most common use for the equipment is accessing the patient's residence when the ambulance is unable due to terrain or weather. There were several instances this last winter when the amount of snow and slope of the road made driving a large ambulance to the scene impossible or da too dangerous. The snowmobiles were deployed in order to safely access the patient and transport them back to the ambulance. Another type of response the team would deploy in the, is a wilderness rescue. Our role in a rescue is to be the medical resource, but we may still be requested to be in the field for an extended period. To make sure that this is done safely and efficiently, some members have additional training in wilderness medicine, survival, and mountain rescue. Wilderness medicine varies a bit from conventional pre-hospital care. Though based on standard principles of medicine, providers are trained to think past the presenting ailment. Two, rescuers have a potential to be with their patient for several hours or even overnight in a worst case scenario. The responding providers must be able to see past the presenting ailment and know what will or could happen in the next 12 to 24 hours as the problem progresses. Three, the environment that the patients find themselves in isn't always the most hospitable. The third type of response where the wilderness team may be requested is an agency assist. The snowmobiles and ATVs are a county resource that may be requested to assist any of our partner agencies or law enforcement to complete a mission. We can either deliver the machines or deploy with trained team members to support the operation. Knowing that operating a special response team can be cumbersome on a budget, we try to intelligently obtain our, our equipment. The Polaris RMK snowmobile was purchased new in the summer of 2009 and the Omaha Rhino new in 2012. The Skidoo Scandic was purchased used in the winter of 2010 and the Yamaha Kodiak was purchased used from the Bonner County Noxious Weed Department in the fall of 2012. The Rhino is also the vehicle of choice for the bike path between the Long Bridge and Highway 200 and has been utilized as special events ranging from lost in the 50s to the triathlon in Priest Lake. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of our special response team.